Dhaka, the sprawling capital of Bangladesh, is under the strain of its own rapid growth. The surge in population comes with an increase in waste and sewage, which has overwhelmed the city's old facilities. On the city's outskirts, some of the sewage is getting a new lease on life at this Dashil Kandi sewage treatment plant. This state-of-the-art facility can treat up to 500 million litres of water per day, making it one of the largest in South Asia. But it's not just about laying pipes and building tanks. Actually, it is also the first time some unique Chinese waste treatment technologies are being used abroad. By the end of August, nearly 200 million cubic meters of sewage had gone through an adventure, being lifted and pumped all the way to this plant, filtered, settled, treated with a three-stage biological reaction, sterilized and tested. It all aims to ensure that the treated water meets international discharge standards. Like five kinds of parameters we test, all the parameters result is like uh, drinking water. But it doesn't stop there. An exclusive drying and incineration system slashes sludge volume by 90%, transforming it into ash. This is a rare attempt globally to have a sludge treatment plant combined with a sewage treatment plant within one plant. Due to shortage of land, it is costly to transfer and bury sludge or whatever waste. We adopt what is recognized worldwide as stable and mature water treatment process. After all, this is the first modern sewage treatment plant in Bangladesh. It's best to have a stable option that also operates at a relatively low cost. Beyond infrastructure, the plane aims to establish a legacy of innovation and progress that will benefit generations to come. The plant now employs around 100 local workers, including Mahmoudul Hassan Riyad, who spent four years studying in China and now oversees the operation of the country's first automated sewage treatment plant. Every work we do together, so when uh, they go outside for inspections or any equipment falls, uh, they take us uh, to go with them for learning. So maybe after some days they will leave. Uh, we can use their knowledge uh, to solve the problem. And just a wall away from the plant, this grocery store has been here for 15 years. The owner and his son provided ice cold drinks to the workers during the challenging construction of the plant. There was no road, so we only did business with the Dasha Candy villagers in the past. New roads have been built for the construction of this plant, bringing us customers from different places. Clean water has been flowing into the river day and night for the past year and a half, bringing back the old days of using river water for irrigation, fishing and recreation for around a quarter of Dhaka's residents. But there is more. The processed sludge is used as material for bricks and cement in the city's thriving construction industry. With limitless potential, this initiative is dedicated to transforming more wastewater into wonders. Feng Yilin, CGTN, Dhaka, Bangladesh.